Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is my first hobby based club um, tutorial. So this is using products from the January kit. So the um, preview um, tutorial, not tutorial, sorry, the preview video I showed um, earlier today um, showing the unboxing and what was in there. Um, I will share that link after this video and just above here somewhere will be a little icon for it as well so you can see what's in that kit. There are only a few days left of January I know so I'm just squeezing in some projects just to show um, and inspire the people that maybe already have the kit. If you've got this stuff still left over then there's some great little project projects that you can make. So this one here I've done this beautiful beautiful darling little where's my focus there we go little box using just one of the six by six sheets then this is the um, the little handles are from the card um, along with the little tab over the top and this little sticker is from the sticker pack and then I've added the little embellishments I'm sure everybody who crafts does have some embellishments but even if you don't it still looks lovely without it very easy to make, very little to do with this and um, there's no cutting involved with the actual box. It's just one piece and it's just some clever folding. So I've just stuck this down with a little glue dot which you can open and close for a while. So it, there's plenty of room there for a little treat. Um, a lovely little pair of earrings, a little ring. It's perfect for little girls' birthday parties. Um, it's just adorable. I love it and it's just nice to just look at and have on your... In your, in your craft room shelf or something. So there we go. So to make this one, put that to one side. So in the craft kit, the January craft kit, there were two pieces of um, six by six paper. No, sorry, four, but two are all of this kind of rose gold and the other two are rose gold and like a turquoise color. So I'm using this um, honeycomb one here. Absolutely love it. And I'm going to be using, this is an A5 piece of copper card that's in the pack, so I've used that and I've just been taking off little strips here for the handles. My aim and goal to, when I use these kits is to use every bit and to not have any waste. So that's why I love that this one here is using that whole sheet of 6x6, six six. nothing gets wasted. So all of this will be used. This piece of card, a sticker pack. And what I've done is another little trick, and I do this a lot, but if you ever have things and you think, oh, it doesn't quite match, or I want it to be a different color, I'm using the Satin Rose Encore ink um, cube that comes with the kit. And I've basically just gone over the sticker with that to give it more of a rose gold color, so it matches the box, um, the little gift bag. So I'll be showing you how to do that in a minute. Um, and then I've just got those embellishments again just to add on if I need to. So, first of all, I said it's six by six. It is just slightly off, ever so slightly. So just grab your trimmer and if you just, if I pop it in here, can you just see there, there's just a little bit more. So keep that because that would be good. I might actually use that for the handles this time on this one. I'll have a look. And then that side is perfectly six. So it's almost like a six and then six by one quarter. So I imagine it was probably in part of a paper pack because these are obviously split to give us our kits each month. So there we go. All perfect back to a six by six piece. So what you want to do first of all, oh, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, so I'm going to flip it over just so I don't scratch the foiling on top of this card here. So flip it over and you just want to score at two, four, then rotate and again score at two and four. Okay, so that's all the scoring with the scoreboard. Get rid of that. Then just grab your ruler and you've got three, six, oh, come up a bit, three, six, and nine squares. The four corner ones are the ones that we're going to do some extra scoring in. So if I just, can you just make out, oh, there you go, look, you can see my squares. What we're going to do now is we're going to score in the, all the four corner ones from this bit here out to the very corner of the card and then here we'd score out that way this one that way and this one this way so i'm just going to turn it upside down do that scoring and then i'll flip it over and show you again as i mentioned in all my tutorials whenever you do any of the hand scoring you need to make sure it's really exact so put your stylus down first okay and then lay the ruler down like so and then make sure you get it right up to that point there so just rotate that one around again pop it down and then score again 
looks like. And again, like so. So if I flip it over now, can you see what I've done there? So that's those score lines you can see. And that one there, you just catch them, and that one there. Okay, so that's what you want there. Then we just need to burnish it. So whenever you are using this kind of card, just do it carefully, okay, because you don't want to crack it. So I'm just, just slowly, and I'm going to do it with my finger and my thumb rather than use my bone tool, because again, you don't want to scratch that beautiful foiled card. Okay, so that's those ones done there. Then these ones here, you want to fold out and just make sure that you get that point perfect. And then again, like so. So you see what I mean? No cutting involved, just some clever scoring. And there we go again. So that is what you should have. Now that alone looks quite cool as it is like that. And you could obviously, I mean, we're gonna be sticking all these now, but you have like a little bowl almost. I love just playing around with card. Right, so that's what we have. So just grab some glue, and then where you've got those kind of two triangles now, here and here, just pop some wet glue just inside one of them, and then just stick it together. You can lie it down, and then you can just make sure that all sticks nicely. Okay, and then go around again to the next one, and again just apply some glue just to one of the triangles, like so. And squash all that down. Okay, and just repeat that on the okay, other two. Okay, so that's now what you will have. All right, so it's an unusual looking cube there. Then what we want to do with these kind of winged pieces is we're going to fold them over each other. So if I do it that one actually, so it just feels like it wants to bend better that way, like so. So you can see how they've crossed over each other. So on this one here, again, I'm just going to put some glue. Now you will need to hold this down a little bit longer because obviously we're sticking two shiny surfaces together. Also red um, tape will stick well, but this, um, the, the glue that I'm using is, is good for this anyway. So just spend some time making sure that's all stuck okay, down. Okay, so that's all stuck there. And then flip it over and just do the same. So the opposite, so this is where I've crossed them over this side. So it's gonna be the opposite side. So this one here, I'm gonna stick some glue on this one. Make sure you get it right up to the, the tips there, just so that everything's getting stuck down. And then bring that one across and do the same on the okay. other one. Okay, so now I've got this lovely little cube. So all you want to do now is just push the two where we've crisscrossed them, push them together to pinch them, and there you have your little bag. It's as simple as that. It is such a lovely little piece to make. So what we need to do now is our handles. So with that copper card, that A5 piece, and obviously we've got this bit here as well. So I'm just wondering whether we do one handle to match. Mm, you can, there you go. If you want, you can do one handle to match. I'm gonna just stick with this here. So I want quarter of an inch um, little straps. So I'm using the whole width of the shortest side. So I'm cutting this along the longest side. So just a quarter and then another little one there. Like so. So again, keeping all that, I'm keeping everything in a clear plastic wallet so I know to use every piece. And then this is my piece left over from when I cut this one out here. So I want this to be two by one. So keep that again. So there you go, two and it's already cut. Oh no, one and a quarter, sorry. Two by one and a quarter. I thought I cut it to one. Let me just double check. Nope, it was one and a quarter. I must have changed it. Let's stick that one back down again. So there we go. Um, yeah, so two by one and a quarter. Okay, get rid of that one. And then just my scoreboard again. Pop it in and you just want to score at one inch along the two inch side. Okay, and then just fold it in half. Optional is to corner 
punch the front piece I do love to do that so but again it doesn't matter if you don't have it so basically now this piece is going to stick on the back and that piece is going to come over onto the front there and form our little little tab so grab our little um, straps here and all you want to do is pop a little bit of glue at the very bottom on the white side and then just hold it about a quarter of an inch down right in that top left hand corner of the square there where we've crossed over the two pieces so just hold that and then place. just hold it still there in case it's still a bit tacky and just with your finger and your thumb just kind of rub against it so you start to curve it a little bit and then bring that one round and again pop a little bit of glue on the underside okay. I'm going to keep holding that one down and then just bring that one round and stick it in the other top right hand corner just keep them both in place okay. there so that's one side done so when I push that in you can see there isn't that it's just so cute I love it and then flip it over and just do exactly the same again so again you can just roll it between your finger and your thumb like that now and then just pop again a little bit of glue you don't need much at all and just stick it again on that side and just repeat okay. what I've done and then just pick if you've got a preference to what's your front and what's your back grab this piece here and on the piece that I've not um, curved the corners there just apply some glue okay and then apply it on the back apply it pop it on the back right up to the score line there make sure you get it in the middle okay and then just stick it down and then what you can do is you can fold the other side over and you can just pinch it between your finger and your thumb until it's all nicely stuck that's down. now stuck there and then when I push that together that will then come over the front and put a little glue dot underneath that so that's that piece done then with the sticker sheet so I used this flower here last time I tested this one here and I really loved the color it gave but I want to use this heart on the, the one that I've done today so because I don't want to get it on any of the other stickers no I'm going to use the gold heart actually so I'm just going to cut through because they're separate cut this one out here very carefully so I don't ruin any of the others there we go let's just remove that one and just with a piece of scrap here lay it on that and then with that little color that rose uh, what one did I say it was satin rose just oh it's completely stuck on there now just Put your ink pad over the top like that so that's completely covered now it will be quite wet so I've just been using my finger and just kind of rubbing it around just so it's really ingrained in the glitter because these are glitter stickers so they're quite um, rough so they take to the color really really well so I'm just going to turn it over just to kind of get rid of any excess it's a bit like um, mousse it's got a mousse kind of texture to it this um, ink but I'm happy just taking off any of the excess there. I want some of the gold to kind of come through, but I want it to have almost stained, and that's what it does. It stains that um, sticker. So there we go. And that this is a really good tip. Like I said, if you do have things and you think, oh, I just wish it was that colour, just do that. So I'm going to take that one off. Make sure I've got no more ink on my fingers so I don't ruin my project. And then just stick it in the middle of that one. There you go, I'm happy with that. And I don't actually think I need an embellishment on that one, but it was only because that one was a flower and it obviously had the centre. But the heart, I think I'm okay. I've just got a glue dot. I'm just going to pop it underneath, like so. And then just pinch it together. And stick that down and isn't that adorable <laughs> let me get my focus in there if I can bring that up there we go I don't need to push that down a little bit more if I put my finger in there it should stick but anyway you can you can see there how that one looks absolutely gorgeous I love these so there is a brilliant idea for your six by six paper sheets lovely little handles um, I've used very little of the kit, I would say, two sheets of um, six by six and a couple of stickers and some bits 
of card. So still loads to get out of this kit and um, for those of you that don't have the kit and are just watching the tutorial as normal, this is just a wonderful little bag out of one sheet of 6x6. So there you go guys, hope you like this one. Um, please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye!